Hey everybody, welcome back to a special diecast review. This is the Matt De Benedetto Inest Iwata um, promotional 124th scale car. Um, this car is not available through Lionel or Plan B or any of them guys. You actually have to get it straight through Inest Iwata um, from their website. So I did pick one up there. Um, got DIN number 18, which is kind of cool. Um, chances are I'll chassis swap it. And I'll throw that in a Kyle Busch car. It'll look like a door number. It ain't. But um, the main reason is I, wa I like these cars in Elite. So it has nothing to do with doors. It has more to do with I like Elite chassis. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this car because we have special art and special car here. So the box is a special artwork. We've got Inesta Wada, number 95, Levine Family Racing, Matt De Benedetto. Um, and then you got the little, um, I think it's a paint gun. Uh, I have to double check, but I think it's a paint gun. See Matt Benedetto render of the car there, standard finish. Um, as I said, it is a promotional car, so it has its own individual artwork. Um, one of 500, uh, which is the minimum order quantity they have for Lionel. There you can see Inestawada and Matt Benedetto again on that side. So 500, they ordered the minimum quantity, and then they get to sell them through their own store. And that's kind of how those... Um, minimum quantity ones work they basically own the whole stock i think that's probably what the um the stuart friesen ones are going to be for his um his win at uh, eldora but i know not for sure yet uh down on our left side here on the actual die cast so it is a, an arc so you got the plastic undercarriage and chassis so as i said i am a fan of the elites so i tend to sw swap these when i can uh my bubba wallace 2019 Plan B car, I did swap that one. So that is a um, an Elite now. I think that might be the only one. I don't think I have any other ARC onlys. I'm going to swap this one and the Toyota Maintenance one to have all of the Benedettos and Elites. But uh, anyway, let's go down the other side. So you got the, um, the nozzle for the paint gun there. I think it's a paint gun. I have to double check. But I thought it was a paint gun um, is what they make. Um, so down the left side, you see we got 95. We got the paint gun, but essentially spraying blue, which then paints around to the back of the car. We've got Ernesto out of there. We've got the orange or the red skirt that goes all the way around the bottom here. We've got Dumont Jets, Toyota. we got Guido up there on the name rail, number 95 up here. And Team Iwata. Team Iwata. Yep, Team Iwata is what it says up there. Um, and there you can see the roof flaps. Uh, we got De Benedetto on the rear window, DIN number 18, and then Ernesto Wada on the rear deck lid. Um, this thing, I think, ran at Kentucky. Uh, we got Ernesto Wada there on the front. Uh, Toyota Camry. Let's get to the back quick. So there you can see we got Team Iwata. We got four little guns off to the left. Um, all their different pages Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. Um, we got the Toyota Camry, the little camera up there, number 95, and then the clear spoiler. Or the clear and black spoiler on the right side same as the left we've got that blue um then it comes out of the gun there um red skirts um the wheels detail there is all you know basically the same we do have right side windows guido up there on the right side name rail as we get back to the front we do have a splitter all black on the nose with a couple of little red marks at the very very front there you see the the clean cut toyota camry front end um then we got Inesta Watt on the hood with that uh, gun. So I think that's what they make. I have to double check on their website. I've looked them up before because I was curious. Um, but I, I knew they had made, these are some type of spray gun. I mean, it, the picture should tell you that. But I couldn't remember if it was um, if it was paint or, or something of that nature. I thought it was paint, but I have to double check. Uh, there's the engine detail on the ARC. So it's just a plastic block with some coloring to it. As I said, I do like the Elite chassis, which is why this will get swapped to an Elite at some point. But for now, it is a perfect promo car. I'm really glad I was able to pick one of these up. Um, as I said, they are available on their website, or at least they were when I got this. So um, I may leave a um, link or maybe just let you know what their website is. Excuse me. And um, you can pick one up there, but um, there is only 500, so it is a pretty low number. Probably going to be a tough one to find at some point. So uh, if you're a promo collector or a De Benedetto collector, I highly recommend it for you. Um, even if you're not, this is a pretty cool looking paint scheme. The blue and black look pretty darn good. I'm I'm pretty happy with these. I think they look pretty good. Um, 
but overall, this is just an, a one of the, another one of the the nice paint schemes that um, I was lucky to get my hands on because, like like the Don Valley North one, um, there are some of them that are just hard to come by when they're promo cars that uh, aren't available through your typical sellers. So I was glad I was able to grab get get my hands on one of these. So uh, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments below about this car. Uh, let me know what your favorite promo car that you've got is where you didn't get it from a diecast dealer, you had to get it from a um, you know a sponsor directly. Um, but yeah, go ahead and post a picture in the comments on that. Uh, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.